Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my Merch by Amazon Tier 10 Strategy, Part 1. Let's go. All right guys, so this is my Merch by Amazon Tier 10 Strategy, Part 1. This is gonna be a four part series. Kind of like how I did my Redbubble series last month. I thought I'd do a Merch by Amazon series this month. I got a lot of people asking um, how to get out of tier 10. Is it saturated? Is it still good to be on Merch by Amazon? I'm gonna show you my strategy if I were in tier 10. You wanna stay till the end because this is part one. I'm gonna show you all the different parts at the end, what each part will be like. So stay till the end for that and also stay to the end for another edition of Trend Credits. Before we start, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Juna. I'm a t-shirt designer, graphic designer. I design and sell t-shirts online. I sell on Merch by Amazon as well as Redbubble and other POD sites. My channel is all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. So if that's something you like to do, please make sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and like these videos if they're really helpful for you, if they're valuable to you. So that's it. Um, let's get into it. Merch by Amazon Tier 10 Strategy Part 1. So in this video, I wanted to start from the beginning what I would do if I were starting at Tier 10. So how would I get out of Tier 10 is basically what this series is about. And I would like to see if I could actually do it. So what is Tier 10? If you're not in Merch by Amazon, uh, you may not know what Tier 10 is. Tier 10 is the very beginning of Merch by Amazon. But basically you get 10 uploads total one upload a day so you can only upload 10 which is why it's called tier 10 and to get out of tier 10 you will need 10 sales and eight uploads here's my plan i'm gonna actually do it with you i'm gonna create myself 10 new designs as if i were in tier 10 i will share with you what i designed and how i did it and how long it takes for me to sell so you can see how long it actually takes me to sell 10 shirts and I will see how long it takes for me to get out of it. So hopefully I can do it in a month. It might take longer. When I first did it, when I first started, it actually took me two or three months to get out. So I'm hoping it doesn't take that long this time. Hopefully I've learned some tips and tricks to get out of it, but I'm gonna share that with you. So um, first we need to do is research. And I say research trends. And the reason for trends, well, let me show you first how to research trends. I'm not gonna actually get into it. I have at least four videos on my channel. These are it, finding trends, using Merch Informer, other ways to find trends, trends using Redbubble, how to use DS Amazon QuickView. Watch all those videos, you'll see how to find trends. I'm not gonna show you how to find trends in this video because I have so many others, but you might be asking why trends. Well, trends, is the quickest way to get a sale without spending any money. Of course, you could get a sale by buying your own stuff. You could get a sale by using ads. But when you're first starting out on tier 10, your goal is actually not to spend any money. So when you're on the lower, lower tiers, your purpose is to just get out of the lower tiers, make some quick sales so that you can get out to the next tier. Um, one of the trends I showed earlier, I think in my last video on trend credits is this, bad things happen in Philadelphia. Um, when you find a trend, then that's when you brainstorm. So brainstorming includes what kind of things um, are related. What are you going to do to make your t-shirt? Now, what I like to do is I like to like grab maybe six to eight different t-shirts that are already on there that are on this trend. And so here are six of them. I like to grab some of the best ones and not to copy, but this is my competition now. Can I make a design that will stand out in this competition? Now, a lot of you might be going, well, I'm just gonna put up some text t-shirts and put it up there. No, don't do this, don't do this. That's too easy, that's not gonna, that's not gonna beat this, right? You see there's color here, there's some thought and graphics here. What you're gonna need is some graphics and these don't have any graphics, this is just text. Don't think that you're on Merch by Amazon and you're on a trend and because you have cool keywords and you're gonna rank on page one that people will see this and buy this instead of the other thing. This is not the way to do it. This is not the way to um, 
design for trends is not what I mean. So this is what I mean is think of an idea of what can you do better. So when I look at these shirts here, I'm thinking what can I do better? And one of the things that came to mind for me was maybe some athletic design t-shirts. And what I mean by that is something like this, you know, I didn't see these on page one. And so, you know, these were really popular back in the day with property of and kind of this old vintage athletic style. You can see they're kind of the same with something in the middle. So um, then I think of what graphic can I use in here? So when I brainstorm about Philadelphia, I'm thinking graphics. Can I use uh, the Philadelphia cityscape? How about the Liberty Bell? Maybe a Philly cheesesteak. So I'm just brainstorming what kind of graphic could go in there when I'm doing the athletic t-shirt. And if I can't think of any graphics, that's when I go on to Google and search. And so you can see here, I'm just doing Philadelphia icons, not to copy these again, just to brainstorm, like um, what kind of other graphics does Philadelphia or that represent Philadelphia. So you can see here, and then I start sketching out. So you can see it's just really simple. Um, some of them I didn't even spell out the words right, but you can see I'm getting the shape right, where I'm gonna put the icon. You can see here I'm maybe thinking about a bell and things. And so from this point is when I get into Affinity Designer and then start actually using the text and stuff. So I sketch it out, I brainstorm, and then I go into Affinity Designer and try to make something that is better than the competition is there, at, or at least as good as. So it needs to stand with it toe to toe and hopefully better, right? So let me get into Affinity Designer and I'll show you what I came up with. All right, so here I am in Affinity Designer. I brought in those uh, examples from Amazon just to see, not to copy again, just to see my competition. So when I'm done with my design, I'm gonna put it up against these guys and just kind of see how, how does it look against here. Will somebody pick mine uh, over theirs or does it stand toe to toe with it, right? All right, so next I start designing. So here I like to design, let me zoom out. So I have like five ideas here and let me go over them. You can see I decided to just go with the Liberty Bell. I just drew it out on paper and then traced it. You know, I'm not gonna go over how I did that, but you can see in some of my videos how I traced um, what I draw. And then I'm just using these, these fonts. This one's called Superstar M54. Um, I'm also using some script fonts. This one is Montana Typeface. And you can see kind of how my thought process is. I like to make both. And I like to start off with a black design, black text on a white background, but then I reverse it out. I know I'm gonna do it on a dark t-shirt. As you can see back here, they're all on dark t-shirts because dark t-shirts sell better. And so I'm gonna do it on dark t-shirts as well. So when I start off with a dark or a black text on white, I reverse it and do white text on black, just like that. So you can see here, I use this font and then I didn't like it. I use this script font. I didn't like that as well, so I just kept the same fonts. And in order to give it some variety, I put this one in a, um, a rounded rectangle. I didn't like that as well, so I made it bigger because this kind of seems like this could stand out. But I really like the, the round arc thing, so I use that here instead. And this is going to be my final here. Uh, I like this one. It's big and chunky, easy to read. It still has that feel of... Uh, that athletic design, athletic department design. And it works well. You always gotta check if it works well in white too. So you can see here it works really well in white and black. And so I'm gonna go with that. So then I move over to making it colored. Uh, I'm just picking these colors. I actually use kind of the colors of the Philadelphia Eagles. You can just take those colors here I'm not using the exact color, but because they're popular in Philadelphia, I thought those are some of the colors. I didn't want to use all the vintage colors that I'm seeing here. I wanted to stand out a little bit different. So I chose a different color palette. You can choose whatever color palette you want. So you can see the white still stands out on black. And then this kind of comes in. I use that established 1682. I added that later um, because I went on the internet and looked when was Philadelphia founded. 
1682. I thought that gives it a nice touch because, you know, athletic t-shirts like to put dates and things like that. And then I went one step further. I put a weathered distressed background on it, or you can see here, I kind of weathered it. I'm not going to show you how I did that here. I might do another video on how to do that. I did it in Affinity Photo, but you can see it kind of gives it that nice texture to make it look vintage, have a more vintage retro look. So that's what I did here. And now you can see kind of just an example of mine against the other ones here. Mine still stands out. It's not just text. It has some color. It's bigger. You can read this here better. So I'm hoping that mine does well against here. We'll see as I put it on here. Again, you want to give yourself the best chance of selling. That's what when you're in tier 10, you want to add your best 10. Don't just put text t-shirts on tier 10 and hope that somebody buys it. And that's not a good strategy. Put your best work forward. You have a whole day to design one thing. And so do all the work, do as much work as you can, make it stand out, make it your best work. And so this is what I'm gonna do here and then I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna go back to my strategy and show you um, the final part. Like I said at the end, um, what are my other strategies for tier 10? So I'll, I'll go back into my presentation for that. So just one more thing before I show you my strategy. I have this free download on my site at detourshirts.com. This is just a tier 10 help sheet. Many of you downloaded it already. I'm going to use this too to track my stuff when I do my tier 10 thing. So you can see here my first one. All you do is put in the design name, bad things happen in Philadelphia. I'm going to put the date that I'm adding it to Merch by Amazon. I'm going to keep track of it. And if it doesn't sell by 11.2, I'm going to take it off and replace it with something else that I hope will sell. So if this sells right here, I'm going to take this and type in bad things happen and do a check mark that I did got one sale. The thought is if you have a pen and paper, uh, print this out and you can just write it in your pen with your pen. So, all right. So my strategy, my next parts are this. This is the strategy for tier 10 merch by Amazon. First, research, brainstorm, design. That's what I showed you today. My next part, I'm going to show you how to upload, use keywords, and kind of do some free promotions. Then I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this over and over. I'm going to show you all my 10 designs because by this point I should have 10 designs uploaded and see if any of them sell. And then the last part I'm going to show you is maybe by then I'm going to take some off or hopefully I get some sales and I can analyze. Maybe if something sells, I'll put it on a different product or something to get another sale. And then I'll update some designs and then I'm just going to review everything that's going on. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was really valuable to you just to let you know that tier 10 is hard, but you can do it and it takes a lot of patience, but it also takes some strategy. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel so that you can see more videos like this. And now it's time for the trend credits. All right, this is the trend credits for today. This is Dabbing Jack-O-Lantern shirt. You can see here, there's not very many in the results, so it's a trend that's not as saturated. There's so many political shirts on right now. I wanted to do a trend that's not a political shirt because there are a lot of political trending shirts all those funny things that are being said. I've, I've done so many of those trends. I wanted to do a Halloween trend again. We're getting really close to Halloween. This is probably, this is probably one of the last weeks you probably want to upload Halloween stuff right now. So this is one of them, uh, dabbing jack-o'-lantern. Let's look at some of the designs here. Again, don't copy these. Do your own style, do your own version of this. Um, but you can see here, just to look at the competition, the BSRs, very low, sub 500, some of them, 210 here, five. So, you know, a jack-o'-lantern with a skull um, body or a jack-o'-lantern by itself with some hands and stuff, um, you can see they're selling. And just to check Merch Informer, dabbing jack-o'-lantern, it's getting an A, you can see some other versions here 
So that's my trend credits for today, dabbing jack-o'-lantern. Um, again, and if you don't have Merchant Former, maybe if you're on tier 10 or one of the lower tiers, you might want to wait on getting this. But if you're in the higher tiers, and or if you just want to get all this stuff, you got Merchant Former graphics, you got all these things that come with Merchant Former, I got a link in the description, gives you 20% off. So if you want to look at some of these things to get ideas on what is trending, you can do that. Um, thanks again for staying all the way till the end. And hopefully this trend helps you uh, and other trends that I have in my other videos. Look at some of my other videos if you haven't watched all those. I think in the last two weeks or last month, I've been adding trends to the end of all my videos. If you haven't watched those, watch them and you can see some of the other trends. And I'll be using some of these trends in my tier 10 strategy as well. So I'm going to be using some of the same trends that you are and to see if they actually work. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, keep creating and keep learning. See you on the next one.